Everybody got a little sip of the potion right here. And I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. We'll just catch this on the flip side. <laughs> I'm going to use it. I'm going to use that hydration. All that for a drop of blood. Uh, to play a little bit more of this level that I'm just going to be honest, I don't even remember the name of. It's called like Pokey Panic or something like that. Pop, pop, pokey, popcorn, platformality. I don't know. Look, the man gets paid to make the levels, not to make the names. Now, I said yesterday we had an 80% chance of beating the level. We didn't. We were, I would say, two jumps away. It's kind of one jump away, but we needed to do an earlier jump differently to have a chance at it. Um, whoo, we barely it did. That might have looked confident. I doubt it did. If you're on the controller on that one, that was a stroke of pure luck. So that's where we got stuck last time, essentially. We, again, if you're just joining us, please go watch the earlier episodes. I encourage you to do so. Not just for, you know, YouTube watch time to help me out, but because I think they're entertaining. And weirdly, like, relaxing in their own way. I know that's strange to say. Um, but we need to bounce on a different aspect of that turtle. We need to jump high so that the turtle has time to get close enough to us so we can jump on the turtle's left side which will cause the turtle himself to shoot out to the right. Yikes. Um, pay it forward for the next time. Then, on that bounce, we re-grab the blue shell. So we have the ability... That one's busted. Can it? Um, so we have the, grab the blue shell, so we have the ability to throw that forward. And I think we have to bounce on it one more time. So even just making it there is still slightly off. Or rather, I mean to suggest it's not enough, you know? Um, so it's definitely, it's not going to be easy. And it, it has taken me a little bit longer than I thought it would. Platformality 2 to beat um, took around maybe four, four hours and a bit. Um, this one, we're at like an hour. I mean, that's four, uh, four and a half hours, let's say, after the hour of Checkpoint League. So, whoops. Whoop. You just eat it. Um, I think, we, you know, this one's taken... It probably won't take as long. But I will say, without a doubt, Platformality 2 as a level, I think, is harder. But this particular section is probably the hardest part of, of Checkpoint League so far. Um... I, can I tell you something? I don't even know where the switch is on this level. Do we hit it right off the bat with the P block? Is that what's happening there? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Every time I don't hit the switch, I'm like, there's a switch on this level? It's, the switch is just kind of... It's just part of the machinery. It's behind the scenes. He's gonna get back in that shell, isn't he? <laughs> um, hold up. How do you feel about that one, nerds? Got him! Now, I'm not gonna suggest that's better. Oh, we stopped a little. I'm definitely not gonna suggest that's better, but at least there is one way where if we find ourselves in that position, we can get out of it. Happy Gilmore accomplished this feat not more than an hour ago. Good consistency, by the way. What have we done? We shot the turtle in the right direction! We just had to go, dude! Didn't, did we? I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. Don't focus so much on shooting the turtle in the right direction. Just do everything right up to that point, and you should naturally kind of land on him. I think we would have hit our head on the chocolate mountain there. And then you should do, uh, you, you should be in a position to get it sent. That's, that's my two cents on it. It's, everything should kind of fall into its right place, like side one, track one of Kid A. 
if you just if all the pieces are in play prior to that moment i think it'll work out that one just didn't make any sense i think i grabbed the shell a little bit too low you might say nl is mario fatigue setting in a little bit honestly not really um i uh i have a high degree of enjoyment in this game even though I'm dying over and over, basically to the same obstacle. Um, it's a challenge that I took upon myself, so I can't really be like, oh, how unfair. Um, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, and to be honest, I think it'll give me... I mean, it's only like 5 p.m. I looked at my hand as if there was a watch on it. Um, it's only like 5 p.m. I'm, I'm in this, you know? I think it'll give me a boost for the rest of my recording day. To get this done. It'll it'll be chicken soup for the streamer's soul. Let's put it that way. I don't know what happened there. All I know is that one shell kept going. I really almost feel like we're in kind of like... We're just rolling a dice right now. That's not to say I have no impact on the, how the game plays out, but, you know, I have minimal impact on how it plays out. All we gotta do is do it enough numbers of times, and eventually, like, a 73 is gonna come up on the D100. Because, honestly, like, once you're in the air, you're kind of part of the Rube Goldberg machine on this level. If only I had fallen slightly left, then you would bounce up, yeet the shell upwards, and go to the right. That, let's not talk about that one. <laughs> I think I, I think we're getting there. Um, you do wonder, like, what? I well, I don't even have to wonder. I I know Apollo's brain inside and out after playing these levels. Well, we almost went way too late. After, after making the first two checkpoints, I guarantee he went, that's far too easy. And you know what? For once, he was right. So he was like, we need some kind of super obstacle. You needed to catch the thing and you would have been in there. We need some kind of super obstacle. Um, in order to really make the, the back half of the level difficulty appropriate. This, this super level is too super. In a way, that's half the fun, don't get me wrong. But it is too tough. Like, I feel like if, if we're talking about making this difficulty, like, checkpoint league appropriate, it's I, I got nothing against a few of the levels being super hard. Like, this and Platformality 2 are really the only ones where I'm like, this is kind of, like, bonkers. But, um... I think all you need to do is... And it, you might disagree, but I truly think all you need to do for me is not have the whole thing go off at once. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know when the cat threw up, but I cleaned it up when I woke up. But I think, like, to make this level more checkpoint league appropriate, all you would need to do is put like a little platform on the second level where you could actually go and like do half of the level, hit the platform, get a little chance to think about things for a second, oh, and then uh, like go again. Even just having like, cause just executing like the first three jumps, I actually thought we might make it. <laughs> The, or the first three or four jumps with throws that have to be done in that section. Like, that's... Very hard. To then chain four more after it is really, really, really hard. Um, so, that would, that would be my piece of, like, criticism for this level. Okay. <laughs> I think to make it a little bit more... Um, me friendly 
just being able to have a space where you can breathe for a second and, and think about the shape of punk to come would be uh would be wise but you know what we've already been there so let's just do it i mean we've, we've come very close on these last few attempts that we've made it this far So, we did not grab the blue shell. But had we grabbed the blue shell, we would have been maybe not completing the level, but off to the races. We would have at least bought a ticket in the lottery for the first time. <sighs> I still can't fathom. The X is over the Koopa, dude. If the Koopa intersects with the X... How on earth could I have possibly not touched it and bounced off it? It doesn't make sense. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Keep it rolling. That one, I knew from the word go that we were A-OK. -okay, we were settled. We were sorted. We didn't grab the blue shell again. I actually don't know if we even threw this the blue shell at the switch, which actually might be part of our problem. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, being completely honest, did I throw the shell at the switch? I can't answer that question with any degree of confidence. <laughs> which maybe is bad because we need that Koopa Poopa. Oh, I thought we had it. We need that Koopa Poopa to allow us to get the furthest bounce in Earth's history. Um, but this is one of those levels that I'll admit. And you gotta allow him his fun, okay? This is one of those levels that after playing it far enough to essentially see the ending, um, I truly believe that our good friend Apollo made this to hurt us. And I, I mean that sincerely. I think that there's a meta-narrative here that he made this level. And, uh, I mean, this is 3-9. So I think he feels like maybe 3-8. 3, 7, 3, 6, 3, 5 were a little bit too easy. So he said, you know what? Nah, this one's for me. I'm going to win. So he made this super, super difficult puzzle to harm us. And you know what? I support him. Do we really throw it up again? If we throw it up again, that doesn't make sense. Because we're blocking ourselves off. So we're kind of like, we're moving backwards on this one. I mean, I, I know I watched the clear check video, but I'm just still like, I'm still confused. So honestly, like I'm, I'm revising my original XCOM confidence meter. And I actually think that there's a chance we won't beat this today. Even though we've seen so close to the end, I just find myself, the closer I get to the end, the more perturbed I get about uh, what we're supposed to do. Like, why would we hit it twice? It doesn't have two U's. Maybe you... Maybe you grab it, and you don't hit it twice. You just hit it once after the first bounce. And for some reason, I thought that was twice. I don't know. I don't know right now. You might get yourself a six-parter. That's a rarity, but... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say never on this one. It's a weird Mario psychology. After I left, I didn't think I was gonna make it. So I did the one thing that never works, which is slowing down midair. You might as well just run it, and if it's gonna work, it's gonna work, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Either way. Keep it going here. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. The more cracks we get at the... At the hard part of the level, the closer we get to finishing it. I'm not losing hope. Well, here's what's happening. I'm kind of on a treadmill right now. And the further I run, I think it's taking me closer to the end. But I'm realizing that 
No, there's still more running to go. And that's okay. We're gonna get there. Because there is nowhere. And there is also here. We're already there. In fact, we started there. All that we've got to do is make our brain think that we got there. Anyway, I don't know where I'm... I don't know what I'm talking about. Having a lot of trouble with this little shell drop situation right here. Honestly, I'll also level with you. Part of the problem with having watched the clear check video is that literally... I mean, the whole second screen is about 11 seconds of gameplay. And every half second, there's a movement. So, to remember everything that happens is a lot of things, and it happens very quickly. So it's, it's hard to parse, you know? It's like a Tarsum Singh movie. You rebuild your mind palace, brick by brick. And you say, you know what? Relax. You've already you've seen those yellow cubes. We've seen the yellow cubes at the end of this. All we gotta do is see them again. And don't get ahead of yourself. If you jump on this with the shell, the shells will break. That, okay, well you know what? That's the most valuable death we've had in a long time because it confirmed our earlier suspicion of how to run the level. So that's a valuable death. I will be welcomed into Valhalla on that one. Why would we... We can't hit it twice. You don't hit it twice. You don't re-throw the shell. You just grab it and then get ready to throw it again later at the D, which is actually a C. He's doing it. So now we need two stars to align. That's not a lot. We don't need, you know... Oh, Mercury's in retrograde, and the big red spot on Jupiter is, you know, swirling in a counterclockwise direction, and blah, blah, blah. We really just need... What, what do we need? Let's, let's, let's break it down, step by step. We need to throw the blue shell at the switch. We need to land on the left side of the Koopa... So we get the Koopa Poopa to the right. And then, we need to catch the shell. And then we need to yeet it to the right. Then we need to bounce on the Koopa, yeet it to the right. Yeah, 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 okay. So be smart. We were there except for we needed the Koopa to the left. Instead of the... Or we needed the Koopa to the right, which means we needed to bounce on the left. We actually have all the pieces. This is a much-needed confidence boost. Because for a while, I thought we... Timing is, is the timing's wrong in my brain now. We're actually I think I'm a I'm a two spikes left of chomper time on that one. I'm in a different time zone. Anyway, we're close. I, I got confidence again. For a while I hadn't I mean now I've got less confidence here, honestly. <laughs> but uh for a while I was confidenceless and I was like, you know what? This level might actually be even more devilish than originally anticipated. Um, now I'm like, no, we got it. It still might take us a bit. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I just needed to land on the other side of the Koopa. Where is my small jump? Or like, where is the jump that is not big enough to make that section happen? It's like trying to debug your code while executing, you know? They, they, how is that too fast? It's two spikes left of the chomper. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're getting emotional, but sometimes that emotion can be a positive thing. That emotion, brief bursts of adrenaline. I 
I still, I still believe that you will be here. So give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Good. Very good. It's like I feel like, and I know this is not the case, so it's a psychological issue, but I feel like we um, had the timing for that locked in, and I'm, in my head, I really truly believe I'm leaving at the same time. But maybe I'm leaving from further uh, ahead. Maybe I walked myself a little closer to the edge, and that's messing up my timing. You know, all elements have to be consistent. You yeeted the Koopa in the wrong direction. You're not forgiving yourself, so just just take a deep breath. I really would appreciate if this level... I get that it's all timing driven, so it's literally not possible. But if it had some kind of like... Hold on. That one hurt me. If it had some kind of like pause button built in... You know, so like in this exact situation, I had about T minus negative 3.4 picoseconds um, to take a drink of water. Is it fair to say this level was not built for healthy hydration, okay? I guess you could stay here for a second, that's true, but then you risk screwing up the pee hold. Like you're gonna hold this and then you gotta... Bleh, I don't think so. Come on, I just walked over here. So we're gonna grab it and we're gonna bounce. We're gonna bounce. I mean, you're very familiar with that section. Apparently more familiar than I am. I really have to commend your um, tenacity. If you're still watching, please comment, oh my god, please beat the level, but I am still here. Uh, I would love to know. I'd love to do a, a plebiscite, a, a referendum to see where we're at. Um, please comment your level of confidence that we will succeed in this video. I'm not expecting to see too many low numbers, but I'm not expecting to see too many, like, super high numbers. Um, and I think that's... Honestly, completely fair. I screwed that one up. And I've never felt more powerful. Because I, on that one, as soon as I started thinking, I just made sure. I said in my brain, you've only got to worry about one thing full jumps. That way the timing will line up. The timing... What? <laughs> the timing lined up perfectly. I just didn't execute the instructions right. So now that we got timing, it's not baked in, but the yolk is starting to set. Now that we got that timing in there, all we need to do is bounce, yeet, and then touch the shell. Now, I will say that it, it does end on one of the harder jumps. It is not a shell jump in the traditional Kaizo sense, but still tricky. That one's... You knew right off the bat that wasn't even close. I think we can do it this video. We might have to extend the runtime of the video a little bit, but I, I definitely think it can be done within the timing of this video. You just hate to see that part, dude. You just hate to see it. Ever since I said, let's try Apollo's timing, I think my brain is highly confused. What is up with Luigi, by the way? When he gets killed in Mario, is that his mouth opening super wide? Or like, does his forehead turn super red? Like, what's going on with this guy? He's a real weirdo. He's a real piece of... He's a real piece of work. I don't know, I've just got a good feeling about this one right here. I really do. Deep breath. That's fine, I, I felt myself slow down in the air. But we, I, I still, I mean, we made it over the first shell jump. That's enough to still feel good. Dunk, dunky, dunka, dunka. I feel good, I can't believe that worked. It didn't. <laughs> You need the shell at the bottom to kill one of the one of the cactuses. I mean, there's a lot of nifty little stuff going on in this section. This section, I, I have very little um, distaste for. It's really this next section where I'm like, you could have put a rest platform. Oh, 
Oh, it's the exact same. It's the exact same situation. It's the exact same situation there is what it is. It's the... But if it's the exact same situation, then why are we upset? Because we could just do it then. If it's the exact same situation, we know how to fix it. You just hold right and jump at all times, and then should be good to go. Good. 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 Great stuff. Amazing. Nope. One of these days. One of these days, that's gonna be locked! I've now played this level for so long that just because we're doing well at this first section, I know, I mean, except for that last jump, I no longer like bat an eye. I'm like, oh, ho hum, another great puzzle solving section. Wow, amazing. Incredible. I'm like, I'm over it. That's where we're at. Bar none, trust me, learning that section, oh, 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 that's soul crushing, dude, that's soul crushing. You don't even have time to take a little drink of water, dude! What I was gonna say is, bar none, just getting good at this little puzzle box right here. There's no way it can't pay dividends. It's not teaching us bad habits. I think we should honestly tough this one out till we get the jump. This is one I think, you know, I, I'm looking at this like is a bit of uh, video bookkeeping. I'd like to have this series off the off the books. I'd like to have it off the ledger if possible. So maybe we'll put a not promising yet, but we'll put in a little extra time on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I jump, I'll have more time to time it. And then, uh, I hit the wall. And I went, oh no! Really nothing to, nothing to be done there. <clears throat> I really feel like, I'm not, I'm not sure if I enjoy Mario, or if I just enjoy doing, like, completing a task. Because, like, my... My favorite Mario levels are levels that challenged me slightly, and then I beat them. You ever, you ever wonder about that? Like, do I actually enjoy pressing these buttons, or do I just enjoy when I get to the end and I go, Ah, Shigeru Miyamoto is proud of me. I think I enjoy pressing the buttons, honestly. But I'm really going to enjoy the goal on this one. I think the goal on this... I think the goal on this one is gonna is gonna feel extremely sweet. And we still got clearly a ways to go. I still think there's uh, the man is sadistic. Like, did you see the first checkpoint on this level? In a way, I actually I think this level actually has like the best example of logarithmic growth or sorry exponential growth you can ever ask for. This is like a it's a logarithmic scale. Um, the first level, five minutes. First checkpoint, I should say. Second checkpoint, 50 minutes. Third checkpoint, 500 minutes. That was like, I was off by a full tick there. Um, but the first checkpoint is like, it sets you up to believe that this is going to be an extraordinarily simple level. Fair, but simple. From that point, I'm not mad, but that sucks. Can we just agree? Can we all be on the same level there? That's like, that's how I know I'm in a good spot because I can see comments on that that will be like, I would be mad if I was him. I mean, you're jumping on the Koopa. Why does he not have a hitbox when he's moving? Oh, well, when the Koopa moves, it's incorporeal. Shut up. That's not true. You made that up. Okay, that one, you just take a deep breath sometimes. I'm, like, genuinely untilted. I'm just kind of surprised at my inability to get through this part right here. 
especially having done it so many times before. The fact that that's the most inconsistent part for us now is, is very strange, but... Simple. Don't let the... You can feel the frustration building inside of you. You just choose not to let it get to you. Although I will say, weirdly enough, as soon as I said that, I felt my eye twitch. And no, that's not Apple's new streaming service. John Oliver. You can't use that joke. That's my joke. John Oliver furiously scribbles into a notebook. The eye stream? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Got him again. Um... I got nothing against John Oliver. I mean, except for The Lion King 2019, but like, that's not his fault. Okay, just give it a good old college try. You know what's giving me strength right now? If Malf can make a three hour video of a single Mario Maker level, I can make five half hour videos. <laughs> That doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me in the least. I'm happy to do it. Just power? Not power. Remember the power of mouth. 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 Who cares? Just a drop in the bucket. Mouth. 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 Kill me. I don't know if I'm having fun anymore. <laughs> I want to get off. That's where I'm at. I'm still trying to make it fun for the audience, but I am reaching a certain level of cerebral je ne sais quoi, where I'm like, I think I would rather this part of the level didn't exist. Never mind, it's the greatest. This is the greatest level of all time. Apollo, you're a, a legend and a mastermind and a mad genius. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. We can hit 2,500 on this one. Easy. Mouth did it. The power of mouth. I like it. See you next time. See ya.